To gain access to the abdominal cavity, small incisions are created on the abdomen. Trocars, which serve as passageways for the surgical instruments, are placed into the incisions. The surgical instruments are placed through the trocars into the abdominal cavity. The surgeon examines the abdominal cavity using a laparoscope or video camera. In preparation for the band, a tunnel is created behind the stomach. The gastric band is then introduced to the abdomen through a trocar. The band is positioned around the upper portion of the stomach and then secured using the locking mechanism. A tube attached to the band will be connected to the injection port. The port is used to adjust the band tightness after surgery. An incision is made on the upper abdomen to insert the injection port beneath the skin. The tube is secured using the locking connector on the port. The injection port and tube are placed beneath the skin. The band does not alter your digestive function. Food consumed passes through the digestive tract in a normal route. A few weeks after the surgery, the band will be tightened by injecting saline into the injection port. As the saline is introduced into the port, it travels through the tube to the band. The addition of saline to the band creates a smaller upper stomach pouch. This smaller stomach pouch restricts the amount of food you can eat before feeling full. A number of such band adjustments would be required in order to ensure that the band is functioning optimally.